meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It's 1131. You know it's time for a life hack. You're ready yeah, for that. Yeah, boy. Aren't you? All right, here we go. It is the sixth day of September. All right, and it's raining outside, too. We is it really? In a while. Not much. Oh. <laughs> you have your windows open, right? No, I have my windows closed. Okay, good deal. All right, uh, you got that AC running. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame All you. the time. All right, treat early. Let's see, a 100 level college course is like foreign language classes. I don't know what they're saying there. A 100 level psychology course is not designed to teach students how to be psychologists. Rather, it introduces the language of psychology. I, yeah, what, who, where? It says treat early, 100 level. Okay, I guess treat them this way. Why they have a comma there, I don't know. Uh, anyway. That's ridiculous. That is one of the I mean, that's, things. I mean, that doesn't saying. even make any sense. They, they gave up. It's four language classes, because it's just basically, you're learning a new language. The language of psychology. That is not much of a life hack at all. That's not a life hack at all. You give it a thumbs know. down. They had a good one earlier this week, too. Oh, well, they did? Yeah. The, well, the, one, the one we <laughs> yeah, like? we did. Well, yeah. that's just... Oh, the one we had yesterday, you said, was a pretty good one. Yeah, right that there. was. That wasn't bad. Yeah, but okay. this is just ridiculous. Yeah, so, there you go. Uh, what is not dumb is, of course, Football Friday. Home yes. Friday. Angie will not be there, I but... I won't be, but will, you are. <laughs> we will have a crew out there. It is the Wrights Bowl. In fact, they're setting up the game right now. We've got our crew out there. Uh, they, they, go, they go outside and go... It's rainy. <laughs> it's not raining at the bowl, though, but it was raining outside here. Anyway, it's going to be Wrights hosting Jasper. Always a good game. That's going to be at 630. If you can't make it out to the bowl, that's okay. We've got tristatehomepage.com. Go to our website. We will be streaming the game. We've got uh, the venerable and inimitable uh, Walt Ferber, uh, who is basically from the Jasper area. And we've got uh, Warren Corp. They will be announcing the game. And Warren, of course, is from the Evansill area, so it should work out pretty well. It could be interesting to listen to them announce the game. All right, now let's take a look at what's going on. That's at 630. Right now uh, at 1133, we've got a look at downtown Owensboro. Smothers Park smothered in sunshine right there. And we've got a look at a few clouds out and about, but not a whole lot. Now let's take a look at, uh, look at this, a rain-soaked Twin Bridges. Yeah, we're finally getting a little bit of rain in the area. It, it didn't last long, but it enough to basically uh, coat the ground, or as my mom used to say, settle the dust is about all it did. Uh, Maldonado's roofing and siding camera, of course, there. Yeah, it's not a burn ban lifter, that's for sure. From the west side of Evansville, of course, nothing shaking there, just some sunshine. The rain was not there. Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera getting that shot. A few fair weather cumulus clouds over Central City, and as our look from our Austin Homes camera down there. And, of course, downtown on top of Fifth Third Bank. Looking out toward the west, and now let's take a look at what's going on temperature-wise at the airport on the north side of town. 85 degrees currently, dew point at 65, that's okay. I don't mind the dew point being up ahead of this front. The front's moving through right now, I know, but at least it can wring out some of that moisture, and that's what we need, a little bit of rain out there. Uh, west wind at 6 miles an hour. That's going to be picking up, though. It's going to shift more to the north later on this afternoon on the back side of the front, 10 to 20 miles an hour, so it's going to be a pretty good breeze then, but, yeah, not much of a wind out there right now. Temperature-wise, look at the cooler temperatures up to the northwest west where the front is already pushed through the front pretty much right along the wabash right now 78 in fairfield 77 degrees in flora 87 though ahead of the front in henderson 88 calhoun and owensboro 89 madisonville and greenville so we're going to have wide ranging high temperatures uh, our temperature is going to start to fall here in a little bit here in evansville so we might get another degree or two i'm calling it 87 for a high and then that air temperature is going to start to drop a little bit as the front moves through 85 right now in jasper dew point wise I mean, we're all pretty much in the 60s. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a 65 dew point right now. That's our dew point temperature anyway. So right there, it's borderline humid to tolerable. Like I said, I don't mind it a little bit humid because I know it's going to be less humid beginning tonight. And really for the next seven days at least, that humidity is going to be way down. Uh, so even though we do get warmer next week, up around 90 again, it's going to be almost like you're out there in Vegas or the desert southwest. It'll be desert dry. There's that shower that moved through, and it's got some, you know, a couple of pockets of heavy rain there. Let's go ahead and put this into motion. We saw it developing basically in Posey County right there in Point Township. And as it worked its way uh, to the east, it ran right across Highway 41, basically south of Evansville, although, I mean, just north of the river there. Obviously, we saw that at the... Uh, the twin bridges right there, we saw a little bit of rain and the rain-soaked area, but now it's starting to truck on into uh, eastern parts of Henderson County as it works its way toward Owensboro. That's, on, that's it. I mean, we've got two lonely little showers out there, although they are packaged of pretty heavy rain. Not noticing any lightning with that batch, though. So we take a look at the big picture. Now, we still have some showers upstate. 
uh, in Illinois and Indiana. But again, the frontal boundary is pretty much right here along the Wabash. It's going to continue to work its way through the tri-state. As it does, we're going to start to see a few more showers and thunder showers firing up, not expecting anything severe. Latest run on our future tracker is really kind of pumping up the amount of rain that we're going to be seeing as this front continues to move on through. Let's hope we see it. Unfortunately, this is the area of <laughs> southwest Indiana that has all the burn bands that we can use. And obviously, Spencer County, we can still use some rain. Dubois County also has a burn ban, so hopefully they get that rain right there, too. Owensboro does not. Uh, the counties in western Kentucky that could use the rain the most would be Henderson County and also Union County. Madisonville, some heavier rain around 530. As we head toward game time, maybe a couple of showers out there, but most of the rain by kickoff uh, should be off the board to the east and to the south. And then after that, maybe a few showers with another band of clouds moving in behind the front. And then we clear out and we're really going to be cooling off as we head into the weekend. And the weekend's going to feel a lot like fall. 87 degrees for a high. And again, over the next hour or so, before that front moves through, that's going to be our high here in Evansville. Again, cooler highs to the north, got warmer highs down to the south. And in some places into the low 90s down along the western Kentucky Parkway before that front moves through. A few showers and thunder showers, nothing severe expected. Pretty good breeze kicking in. It's going to shift to the north on the back of the front at 10 to 20. Three degree Gary Guarantee called for a high yesterday of 90. Got up to 93. That still works. April Smith of Evansville. Congratulations, April. You got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick it up. Uh, but Pam's not here today and she won't be in next week. She's on holiday. Uh, so wait until the following week to pick up your umbrella. 75 tomorrow, 76 on Sunday. On the back side of today, we're looking at some very autumn like weather. Morning low on Sunday is going to be 47. Tomorrow morning, 54. Keep in mind, we're going to have a pretty good breeze all night tonight, too. So it's going to be one of those nights where you might want to have your hoodie waiting for you. Uh, and then it's going to heat right back up next week into the upper 80s to around 90. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, we want to talk about that. The weekend looks fantastic. So though. what is this? Tater bird. There's one eye. There's another eye winking. There's the beak as it's kind of twisting its head, tilting its head, looking at you. And there's the body of the bird. There are the tail feathers Tater. down there. Uh, okay. And you can't quite see. I, I don't, you know. I'll, <laughs> you might I'll, see it better if you look at the monitor under the camera. Uh, that's a little better, yes. But yes, I, right I, I get it chirp, now. Chirp, chirp. Kay Hummel <laughs> sent that one in. Tater bird is what we're calling it. Uh, uh, we're going to go with that. So uh, Nibby Priest just posted, what is that falling out of the sky, rain? And I know. he said, but now the streets are already dry. <laughs> I know, it didn't take, just a dust settler is all it was. Yeah, if that. Yeah. If that. So we'll be back with more lifestyles right after this.